It is February 4th and the first day of tax season. More than 300 students were certified to prepare income tax returns for the Baruch Vita program. Angela, a first year volunteer, confidently takes her seat and gets ready for her first client. Okay, so I have my Baruch Vita textbook, my 1040 and New York State instructions, my calculator, and my pens. Hmm, what else am I missing? Oops, I thought I silenced that before I got here. I have to remember that next time. Hi, sir. I'm Angela. How are you? Hi, I'm Daniel. Um, I'm doing great today. I just hope I can get a refund this time. All right, we'll see what we can do. Do you mind if I take a look at your client intake sheet, your documents, as well as your photo ID? Thank you. Before we start the interview, I wanted to make sure that you've read the taxpayer acknowledgement section on the back of the intake sheet and you're aware that our services are voluntary. Unlike a pay preparer, we do not sign up to returns we prepare. Please take a look at the disclosures again and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, yeah, that sounds fine. Um, I just really appreciate the service because I can't afford to pay like several hundred dollars to get my taxes done every year. Well, we are here to help. Okay, so now I'm going to go through all of your forms and the client intake sheet to make sure that I can prepare your return. Daniel's 28 and indicated that he lives and works in New York. Let's look at the W-2 to verify that. Yep, box 15 says New York. Daniel says that he's single and has a three-year-old son and a 16-year-old son. Okay, so you're going to be filing as head of household. Now let's look at your income. There's a W-2 and he also has capital gains and losses checked. Wait, isn't that outside the scope of VITA? I should ask Kathy. Hey Kathy, can I ask you a quick question? Sure, no problem. What is it? My client has capital gains. Should I send him away? Okay, let's see what we have here. So, he did check off capital gains and losses, but he only reported on the 1099 dividends, and if you look over here, it's a small amount of $12, and what you do with it is just put it on line 13 of your 1040, and you're going to check off Schedule D not required, okay? Okay, thanks. No problem. Sorry about that, just double checking something. So he has self-employment income also. And social security benefits? He doesn't look that old though. You checked off social security benefits. Are you sure you're getting social security? Hmm. Um, can I see that sheet again real quick? Sure, here you go. Oh, I'm so sorry. I meant to check off the unemployment box. I didn't have a job for a couple of months. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, actually, this year the IRS exempt the first 2400 of unemployment compensation from taxes, so that should help. Oh, that definitely does help. Okay. Now we're gonna look back. There are no expenses for tuition or student loan payments, just 1500 in child care expenses. He didn't buy or mortgage a home for Line 13. Monthly rent of 800 That won't qualify for IT214, and he didn't pay any estimated taxes. Let's double check again the forms he brought in. Oh, that w this W-2 is for my son. He just started his part-time job this year. So can you just add that into my return so we can just do it all in one thing? Even though he's your son, we can't just add your two incomes together. He would have to do his own separate tax return. I could do that for you afterwards if you want. I'll be right back. 
Oh, no problem. Uh, take your time. Okay. Wow, this is nothing like the workbook. Hmm, what forms? What forms? Right, the 1040, Schedule SE, Schedule CEZ. I'll need one for New York State, too, so might as well grab that. Here's the IT201 for people with business income and the statistics sheet. So the top of the 1040 is basically your personal information. Here we fill out your name and here your address. We're done with the 1040 now. Oh, great. How much did I get? It's... Wait, I have to get this reviewed by my manager first, just to make sure everything is correct. No I'll be right back. Good news, you're getting a refund of $6,573 on your federal return. Wow. Dang. I'll get started on your New York State return now. Okay, so now I just have to get this checked by my site manager. I'll be right back. All right, no problem. All right, sir, I'm finished with the New York State return, which is a refund of $2,794. So that's a combined refund of $9,367. Now I'm going to complete a client letter for you, which will tell you how much refund you got. It also tells you that you need to keep copies of your tax returns, where to sign it, and the addresses where you have to mail these returns. Okay, no problem. Schedule CEZ is sequence number 9A, and Schedule SE is sequence number 17. Just remember to photocopy these before you mail it out. Okay, no problem. Do you mind if you fill out this statistics sheet? We don't keep any personal information. It just keeps track of my performance, and I might actually win an award or two. Oh, really? No problem. Anything to help you guys. Thanks for all the work. Okay, so let's get started on your son's tax return. Hmm, where was your son's W-2? Got it. Now how old is your son?